So it's the first episode of the much-awaited Bull and Bay, where we pick on your love stories, relationship stories, romance scams, and so on. Prepare to be entertained and be excited about the stories we're going to share with you because you know what? You're definitely going to relate to them. But before we begin, this is a video to appreciate how or what the whole show is about. So into the first segment, <laughs> you know what? We know that men love to play around, but this time around, the roles have turned. Women are playing men, and we are here to share with you the signs to know if your woman is playing you. And you know, I have another beautiful woman just like me, and she is going to help us disguise these signs to know that your your woman is playing you. I know what is her name. I know what. Hi. Have you ever played a guy before? Oh, I have. They Come deserve on. it, oh. don't you think? I it. <laughs> I have. Well, actually. People, all that they mm -hmm. put as true. They Sometimes give... they think they are smart, but yes. I'm happy that the whole thing is turning around, yes. and now women are really doing well. Yes. yes. <laughs> My ladies. So I mean, let, let's take the first one. This one says that she's initially great with calling and texting, but. Over time, you see it's waning. You are anxious what's going on. She's, uh, she then starts ignoring your texts or calls and is great at playing the chase me or look at me game. You feel like you're definitely the one calling and texting her more. Hmm. Doesn't it sound familiar? If, this is something if you do don't want lot. to be chasing her, then stop. <laughs> because I don't think anybody is forcing you to do that. But yeah. sometimes these men... When they realize that your attention is shifting away from them, mm -hmm. that is when they sit. Ah, oh, why am I the one who been chasing her all over? Yeah. But when the girl was submissive, when the girl was doing all the good things, he didn't see it. I tell you. So I think it serves them right. <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna be a feminist show. I mean, oh, we no. need to pepper them. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what side? What side do you have over there? Um, sometimes you even see the call, huh? but you be like, Charlie. What's it doing? For not someone free or that kind of thing. Hey, then women will be missing their booze calls. Hi, Ed, I don't see anything wrong with that because sometimes when you make the woman feel comfortable not mm. hearing from you, that thing grows. And now if she doesn't hear from you, she doesn't feel anything. Yeah. So I think it's the men that make the woman the women develop that kind of yeah. um, let me say atmosphere around them yeah. because I'll be calling you morning, afternoon, evening, and you are giving me stories. I'm busy. I'm working. I'm yeah. this. I'm that. And I stop. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong because sometimes sure. I need to put myself first as well. Yeah. So putting myself first, it means I'm not going to be calling, texting, crying over you. And no, you're gonna chase me. <laughs> you have to. But chase why would why will a woman you know play a guy though? In your own understanding. Okay, so Harriet, when you say a woman playing a guy, what do you mean by playing a guy? Um, you know, how the men play us. They pretend to love us. And then not knowing is, is all just a joke to them. But now, as I said, women are, you know, doing the most. Recently. By playing the men. Recently, <laughs> I asked somebody, why do women cheat? She said, um, when you're not too sure, when you're insecure, I'm like, sister, when you're sure, Jane, why are you cheating? But I think um, these days it's financial issues yes. because um, we are not really living life according to how, how much we earn and we really living above our, our, our targets and our yeah. income. So sometimes you need four, three, two men, like, Kofi will buy your hair. Are you listening? <laughs> the men, are you listening? Kofi will buy the hair, Kofi will buy the shoe. <laughs> We could buy the dress, you know, yeah. even in the room. Somebody will pay the light bill, somebody will pay the water bill. And mm. I'm giving this tip to the guys. Mm -hmm. You are dating this girl who works at, um, uh, let me say, um, should I even say, Metro TV. Yeah. And then she earns like 2,000 cities a month. Mm -hmm. And this girl wears bone straight, <laughs> wears good clothes, and you know, yeah. she's cheating. cheating. Oh, so this, this is pure advice. This is gold advice for the men. You know that your woman does not earn a lot. And yet, she's always put together. Everything is going on well for her. And you know what says? She's she cheating. cheating on you. Yeah. She's playing you. And she's looking good and you're not the one paying. 
she can't afford it and you, you are just saying what <laughs> okay what are you saying and you'll be complimenting her you look beautiful yes. okay, from another man's pocket he's not serious she's cheating such a man deserves to be cheated on i know anyways moving on to the next one she constantly flex with other men if she says she's been exclusive to you but she catch her chatting up other men at every available opportunity and if she's constantly mm. flirting in front of you with a waiter or worse with your friends that's a sign she isn't looking to settle down anytime soon i'm sure ahiniwa begs to differ. <laughs> no i don't <laughs> i don't i don't so if she's flirting but how she, it? so you a woman who has decided to be with you can flirt right oh yes i don't see anything wrong with flirting actually yeah. when will be the person smells good and you are mm -hmm. trying to like hmm Thank you. you smell good. I didn't think it, I didn't I, I didn't see anything wrong with that. Okay. But I always say that women, your boyfriend's friends are not your friend. Okay. Your husband's friends are not your friend. So the moment a woman starts um, paying much attention to the husband's um, friends, then it means. <laughs> There is something awkward going on somewhere. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I, would, I don't beg to differ. I think yeah. I will agree with that. Like but me. I don't see anything wrong with me maybe complimenting or flirting around. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. And I mean, I hope the men are taking the notes. They should. If your woman is constantly flirting with others, she's not with you. She's definitely, you know, cheating on you. So, Harriet, that gives you a clue to do better and set up. Because if I'm, if I'm flirting with a guy who wears white shirt every day, it means white shirt turns me on. And my boyfriend oh. also wears blue, black, <laughs> black, red, yellow shirts, my guy. <laughs> then you need to sit up. Yeah. Let's say I see a guy who is wearing a very nice jewelry, like a wristwatch, mm. a necklace or something. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, he smells good. I'm like, wow. And you've never heard me compliment you like that. You've mm -hmm. never seen me flirting with you. Mm -hmm. And you don't see anything wrong with that, and you're just there. Hey, Charlie, she will cheat, too. She wow. will cheat because that's what turns her on. Yeah. So that means that the men have to do better. Sure. Every day, in and out, they have to do better because you have to up your game. If your girlfriend is flirting with others, it just shows that you're not doing well. <laughs> yeah. So, on to the next one. Hmm. She never makes future plans. One of the biggest signs that she's a player is that. She will never commit to plans too far ahead in the future. Or even more annoyingly, she does commit only to back out at the last minute. She might have you a solid excuse to cancel on you every single time you text to set up a date. That's almost always a lie. And this particular one. Eh? You do it. I know. <laughs> I really do it. <laughs> You do it. Anyway. The way you are reading it, I, I realize you are reading from my experience and you're just reminiscing something. You do it. I mean, obviously, if I'm not interested, I will lead you on a little, but then at the last minute, I'll cancel. Cause and sometimes, leading the person on, you're trying to get to know the person. Yeah. So, probably, maybe getting to know the person, there is something that turns you off the person. I feel free now. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll, you're not sure. Sure. There are times I stood some people up and then they're not even talking to me again because I didn't like some things about them. So when we, we fixed the date, I never showed up because mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to sit down to talk about. <laughs> if it's food, I have a lot of food in my yeah. house. Sometimes you want to go out because you like the guy so much and you want to sit out with mm. the guy and talk to the guy. So if there is something about the guy that puts you off, I don't think you waste your time going out there. So I think but this... Does that, does that mean she's playing you though? Maybe she's just not so sure she's, about you. And she's not interested. You see, yeah. these men too sometimes, that's why I always say they think they are smart, but they are not. There are a whole lot of things that shows that the woman is not really interested in you, but they will be pushing, especially when they have some small coins in their pocket. They'll be giving the girl. So at the end of the day, when you see the girl with another woman, um, another man, sorry, you think the the woman played you. What did the woman play? <laughs> I'm telling you. And like, Harry, this one, for, yeah? I think it's a bit sensitive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, to these women, will go to the extent of even getting intimate with the guy. She didn't like it. She didn't like mm. how you did it. Ooh. So she'll go and she'll never come back again. Ooh. Then you see her with another man and then you're like, she's cheating. Whoa, Ooh. hello. <laughs> <laughs> she's not cheating, my guy. She's and, not cheating. And, and you know what? The next sign is uh -huh. uh, this one. Hmm. You let me read it. Okay. She's moving in quickly into your place. Even if she had been on her own briefly, she's telling you she hates to be alone 
and is scared to be alone or she just can't be without you suddenly her furniture clothing toothbrush bar gels and boxes are filling up your space is this this one a sign that she's cheating on you or she's no, playing you but this is a sign that the woman is into you or something but i always say that why would you go and live with a man who's not married to you yeah I, I really don't like that thing. Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I always tell women that it's really not right. Now you start taking up their wifey duties. Yeah, cohabiting is... Can you is imagine? So right. I think um, that sometimes tells men that women, the women are really interested in them. Mm -hmm. But trust me, <laughs> probably maybe she can't even pay her rent. <laughs> <laughs> probably maybe... That's another case. Oh. There That's is, another yes, case. Yes, she wants to move out of her mother's yeah. house. And then she realized that the place is very comfortable for her to be. So yeah. she just move in there because any serious woman like myself will not but move you know, in. But you know what? Some uh -huh. of the men love this. I mean, they love what? They love cheap things. Seeing that, Hi, you know, they don't love the woman is just moving in Hi, right. right after they met. They don't love, they love cheap it. things. They are comfortable with cheap things things okay. they don't love it they don't they're love just it, they're comfortable, comfortable with it you see yeah. there's a thin line between being comfortable around someone and loving someone yeah. very thin line and sometimes that's what we're mistaking that for love yeah. somebody's comfortable around you think the person loves you yeah. he gets it when he wants it yeah. she hey, gets it when when she wants it yeah. and you think she's in love with you hey no she doesn't like where she's living she's living with her mom she's living with her dad <laughs> There are a lot in the room, so your place is so comfortable for her. <laughs> That's why she packed in. Because every woman loves her space. Harriet, am I lying? We, lying. Love, we our love our space. So if mm -hmm. a woman suddenly moves into yeah. your space, it means where she is, she doesn't like it. Mm -mm. Sometimes I even think about marriage. I'm like, hey, so I'm going to live with somebody stand forever. How? Because it's, it's not going to be easy. Then the person is not married to you. Make a second proposal. Nah. Then you now you go take out wifey it's duties. Charlie, <laughs> my guy, look sharp, look sharp, look sharp. <laughs> okay, you know what? Well, the next one is that you've become or started the relationship as her hero. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. She has a sub story, and you are rescuing her from a current relationship with a guy or a very recent one, and you want to protect her. She may even throw some danger in there to get your protective guy juices flowing let me sip some juice i will have to sip my juice as well mm -hmm. so i know what before I, I come to you let's take a box pop from some guys what they think about how or ways to know when a woman is playing a man what i normally say is that relationship is a disease cured by marriage so in the relationship we are planning towards marriage so why is it that you can't take me home i should know your family i should know some of your people your friends, you live with, you understand. So if you're not giving me those opportunity, those chances, I feel you're just playing me. She's just playing you, bro. She acts distant, and then you realize that, you realize that, you, you know, you have, you're on a phone calls with her, 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 her conversations become straightforward, one way answers. Um, she's taking trips that, you usually do when you're couples but now she's taking solo trips with her friends and also when you know she's not really a girl's girl's person she, she you know she has her own sisterhood and friendship but then all of a sudden she's getting you know what would they say the tea the ladies are spilling the tea with her and filling her hands and stuff like that so for me those are little signs that i pick up you see it out there the girl is demanding unnecessarily it should ring a bell there is some other line. And secondly, when it's not, she's not getting enough time for you, always she's giving you excuses and all of that. You should know that, no, there are so many on the line. Okay. Women are very interesting uh, creatures, will I say it that way, if they are not interested in you. And uh, the signs that they give you, you, some of them you will never see it that they, they are not interested in you. They are the people that can play it to the extent that uh, you, you think it is true love or uh, something real. But for me, I've not been played before, but I know a lot of people that have been played. And one of the signs that I see is they can give you a sign, you think about it, you, you, know it's, you know it is not true, but it is true. For instance, when you call them, the first thing they are going to tell you, you don't miss me, they will play a reverse psychology on you. 
that's what they will play on you. And that reverse psychology will now set your mind to it like, okay, whatever they will say, I will do it for them. I mean, the men think differently from us. Come and come over time. <laughs> They're here. <laughs> but you see, when a woman is going through that phase of her life, I don't think she even knows what she wants. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, um, helping her heal, she might heal and leave you. Yeah. So sometimes, as you are helping her heal, to so you guide yourself. Say, at the end of the day, if it's you, then fine. Because it might never be you. 80% of the time, it might not be the men who helped them heal. Because yeah. at that stage, is her vulnerable stage. Yeah. So when she heals, then she knows, and this is not what I want. I want That's this. True. Yeah, so That's men, true. watch out. Men, watch out. Yeah. This is, this, you know, show is not going to be only entertaining, but very educated. As well. We are learning a lot. Yeah. So you've been seeing her for over a month, and guess what? You've never been to her place. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's been to yours a dozen times. There's a reason, and there's a good chance that something she's hiding is someone. <laughs> she's hiding someone from you, definitely. If you've been, she's been to your place a dozen times, and over a month you've never been to her place. There's definitely someone she's hiding. I know. Is it true? It's very true. <laughs> Unless maybe, even if she tells you, I live with my mom and my dad and my uncle, go and greet them. You are a responsible man. <laughs> go to the house and greet them. <laughs> because it's dangerous. I don't want to happen to you. I want it to happen to you. I'm telling you. I don't want it to happen <laughs> to you. So please. And, and make sure there's a restroom or washroom. In Inside the house. The house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so another one is that. It's an amazing fairy tale in which you have not asked the really hard questions as to why a girl like her it's not already taken oh no this one is like a shade to me but you know what is a shade to yeah. you okay <laughs> or why she was cool with cheating to be with you everything has been glossed over with an excellent justification or excuse than playing Harry, but, why are you single why am i single uh-huh boo and babe you <laughs> want to know why i'm single <laughs> hmm, uh, SMP. Sir? i'd rather be alone than to live in a fool's paradise yes i but won't really, have any comments on that but, but really why why would a woman lie that she's single why oh there are some women who want to eat their cake and have it oh, okay so they would definitely lie mm -hmm. even say stories that never ex existed or something yeah. so i think some women lie yeah. that they are single while just, they are not just to you know yeah. enjoy more <laughs> but another one that this one here is very very true she won't take any pictures with you it could be because she just got out of a relationship and doesn't want people bombarding her with questions about this new guy in her life. Conversely, she might want to keep you under wraps if she's currently in a relationship or wants to keep her options open so she's free to date whoever she wants. And it's so true anyway. Oh, but Harry, it's, the let's, relationship let's is not a, it's not, it's not, it's not a public deba. To, to a take... Man, okay, you know, after uh -huh. a month, uh -huh. after a month, uh -huh. you've gone on several dates. And she takes pictures with you and then you see the pictures on social media and your face is not in there what does it no, mean no but harriet even me i don't know why i'll put my spouse even if we've been together for 10 years because some people like yourself single people looking all beautiful looking for you know <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes you need to keep it to yourself and also i always say that the relationship if it's beautiful it's beautiful for you alone nobody should enjoy it more than you enjoy it yeah so letting people know that okay this is my man and he does this for me he does that for me wouldn't do anything for you so i think i don't see anything wrong with that because mm. i take pictures with it's my boyfriend but i won't pay player no 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 mm -hmm. no she's not being a player i don't think so I saw this quote that says that you be kept a secret, uh, but I don't realize you're the fourth person in the league. The most important people around you, people know about the relationship. Okay. It's just that you're not posting it on social okay. media. If which you put it that way, fine. Yes, because with social media, it's dangerous. Yeah. It's very dangerous there. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's move on to our next one. And she hints that she's not so sure where the relationship is going long after she's either moved in, accepted, or when she's suddenly needing attention. She may tell you to that just give me some more time or oh, it's going too fast i need to step back when she was the one pushing for such a fast pace all of a sudden she wants space when it happens like that but Harriet, don't you I, think she's i said something she's earlier playing you. no she's not playing you i said something earlier that you can meet a man and everything about the man excites you you really want to know more mm. but you get so close and some things put you off 
Okay. And you wanting some more space and wanting some time to think about it, I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay. Because maybe your 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 appearance attracted me and the way you spoke and I got close to you and your toenails are dead. In oh. fact, oh yes, oh. I pay attention <laughs> to those things a lot. Your your personal hygiene is not oh really uh, up there like that. But your anyway, room is in a mess, and you want me to, to stay. You, but what if all these things are not there? He he's still nice and everything, but then he's watching us right now, yeah. and he's like, no. I don't have a dead toenail. Everything is nice. But why is she all of a sudden Harriet, telling you she until you pay? find yourself there, uh -huh. you might not be able to answer this question. But I want to say that if a woman wants space after knowing a guy for a while, then it means the woman wants to figure out things for herself. Mm. Probably, I, I always say that I don't want to marry and divorce. So when I finally get married to that lucky man, it's going to be a forever kind of thing for me. So mm. I won't just settle for anything. So the slightest thing I see and I realize I can't stay with, I'll run away. Yeah. So if a woman wants space, if a woman wants to think about something after knowing you for a while, then it means you as a man need to set up. I think all the things we, we just talked about uh, puts the man on his toes. If you're really interested in the yeah. woman, it means you need to set up and then up your game. Because if a woman does all of these things, I think it's not about her cheating sometimes or playing you, or playing you yeah. but probably if she's actually cheating you're making her cheat you don't give her money Thank you don't you. give her more okay, money so anyway let's end with the last sign that okay. is the hot cold game continues to haunt you one moment it's bliss the next she's too busy she agrees to date then cancels your mind is spinning and you often find your heart sink into the depths of despair and then suddenly in euphoria when she goes out with you again and kisses you passionately, passionately. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah. that reminds me of the song what do you make of it she's too busy yes yeah, she's busy i know what works like has a lot of things to do so if i have time i'll spend much time with you oh my if gosh. i say i'm too busy you need to understand yes. because my life shouldn't evolve around you so when I have time and she makes you happy and she kisses you, my guy, that's the lady for you. She can't be around you 24-7. Uber bre. You can't. You'll be tired of her. So yeah. she goes and comes. Anytime she comes to you, to, she makes you feel like you are a man. She kisses you. Yeah. Oh, Charlie. Passionately. And it's a bliss. That's the word. I love that. That's the woman for you, my guy. So if you meet a girl like me, you won't have me every day. You oh might have God. me, let's say, twice in a week, three times in a week because I'm very busy. But when I make time for you, Charlie, how it's say your bliss. So that's it. That brings us to the end of the first segment why and signs that shows that a woman is playing a man and we, we give you solutions do better as a man and you will find the best in your woman I but Harry, there is something we need uh -huh. to talk about yeah. when that happens it means a woman is cheating see she has a face lock print lock all the locks on her phone even when you go to whatsapp there are some chat that are already locked oh in Charlie. God. that one you have that no one you have no one. reason to yes. even think twice about her let yes. her go yeah let her That's go true. so if a woman is hiding her phone calls always hiding her phone or the phone is already in able to always turning the face of the phone down charlie <laughs> she's she's cheating okay so that's it for the first segment now let's take the relationship joke of the day and this is based on a true story in south africa let's take a look at it on today's relationship joke <laughs> this story is a true story a lady actually went to visit someone in his office and you know when you, when you go as a visitor there is an attendance book that you write your name and then the time and then the papers and then you sign she wrote her name the time and everything when you go to purpose she wrote cuddling oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs>